You guys, you guys, fuck it. I got a box of stuff from Field Notes. Hi, my name is Fox, and I don't know if you remember, uh, a while back I filmed a video where I opened this 16-piece uh, survival kit thing from Walmart uh, that had, among some items, this case that I've actually been using. It's a useful case. It's waterproof, and it came with these tablets that are actually just towels that you put in water, and it came with the worst Swiss Army knife I've ever seen in the history of life, and a spoon. It also came with a notebook. Now the notebook was pretty much the whole friggin' reason I got the thing because I was very curious as to what the notebook was. It looked exactly like a Field Notes notebook, but it wasn't. As you guys know, I'm a huge notebook nut, and uh, when I saw this, I immediately uh, thought of Field Notes. I was like, oh cool, they give you a little Field Notes book, but uh, it's not. It's not Field Notes, um, although it's trying very hard to be. Is it actually Field Nope, they just ripped off Field Notes. Uh, but when you open the cover, it, it actually said this Field Notes belongs to it. See, it had Field Notes' name inside the cover. So I uh, sent a tweet out. I tweet. I I whistle tweeted out. <laughs> what the fuck. Sent a tweet out to uh, Field Notes saying, "Hey, do you guys make this? I'm curious because it has your name inside the cover, but not on the front." And they were like, "Hey, yeah. Uh, can you email us?" <laughs> so I sent them an email, um, and they said, "If you send us the book, we'll send you some goodies." Now I actually don't even know if they're okay with me making this video, but I really don't see why not. The Field Notes makes notebooks. And I am a huge notebook nerd. I love them. I, I just do. Just let me be a nerd. And um, yeah, they sent me this, I guess they call it like a thank you package of oh my god awesome stuff. I did open it in the car ride because I couldn't, I couldn't contain my excitement. I, I had to see what was in it. And oh man, is this some awesome stuff. Now if you like notebooks like I do, this will be interesting. If you don't, still watch it because please... I need the, I need, please, just, just watch, please. First we got some free paper and some bubble wrap, the good, the tiny bubble wrap, which, ah. So first I'm going to show you, pro which I think is their newest thing. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure this is like their new, their new notebook. Uh, this, the Group 11 notebook. Uh, this has gilded edges. <laughs> Looks so awesome. There's three different notebooks. We actually are going to open it up and... I'll be ironic and use the Ozark Trail knife because it's the only good thing that I can actually use this knife for. It's a piece of crap. It doesn't even cut. So yeah, group 11. So let's see what's in here. So we got to break the seal. Ah, oh, look at that. Beautiful. Yeah, so it is graph paper, I believe. Indeed. It is dotted graph paper. Are they all like that? They are. And the dots are even colored like the uh, gilding on the end. That is really nice. Very nice soft cover. The edges are gilded, which means you probably just got to do that a couple times. And this is, my friends, what a genuine Field Notes looks like. A beautiful notebook that I put in my pocket and destroy with my butt. Uh, yeah, so this is, I believe this is their newest one. I've seen this on Twitter a few times. And Next up, they sent me the Autumn Trilogy. I actually wanted to order this one a while back. I just never did because I think they were sold out when I wanted it. Um, but yeah, this is actually a lined notebook. I don't usually get lined, but because it's free, I'll take it. Thank you. And it has like maple leaves on it and all that cool stuff. So it's a great seal on that one. Oh, that's awesome. All right. Yep. So this is, what's the theme of this one? I think it's just, it's just autumn. I think it's just like autumn themed. Yeah, I got different types of leaves. So I guess this looks like a, um, this looks like a North American uh, wood pine elm uh, crystal. This one's definitely a Canadian orange. Ah, and here we have the gym. Love the uh, embossing of the leaf. Very, very nice. Get some graph paper on that and give it a good old trace. The back has a tree on it, as well as the others. They have, oh, they have the different types of trees I guess these come from. Do they say on the cover what these come from? The scar, oh, it does, actually. The scarlet oak. So this one, yeah, they have it in the back here. This is the scarlet oak. Was I right by calling this the big orange? Uh, nope, that's the sugar maple. And Jim, I'm hoping this is Jim. The American elm. I was close. And these beautiful, these beautiful, very funny bastards sent me the New Jersey Field Notes, which I think they do one of these for uh, every state, I believe. Um, it's the quarterly, the country fair uh, edition, the regional edition. Set of three graph paper uh, New Jersey notebooks. So let's see what these have. Now, as a New Jersey native, I should know everything about these notebooks. Um, so let's see. Oh, and this just slid right off. All right, so here we go. 
Got the great state of New Jersey, the Garden State, uh, admission to the Union. Uh, New Jersey became a state in, in 1787. Population, that's probably different now. Augusta uh, is the state fair location. There you go. Are these, yeah, I'm pretty sure these are just the same. The, the cover feels really, really nice. Wow, oh, love it. The cover has, um, I don't know if people who are watching this, if you're like me and are a notebook nerd, Fabriano uh, makes sketchbooks. They make a little pocket sketchbooks and they kind of have the same cover feel like this, where it's kind of like lined like this. Very, very nice quality. The last set of notebooks we got are the plain paper 72 page sketchbook. This I'm definitely going to be using. Um, I actually do have the, di whoa, my phone just kind of took a poop there. Was that me? All right. I do actually have the uh, dime novels. I'll go get those. Oh, Backfield Notes did the dime novels, which I still have and have yet to use. Um, I don't know if you can get these anymore, but if you can, they're really, really good. Big, big, thick books. And these are about, oh, they're actually exactly the same size. Um, I have not seen these, though. These are these are new to me. So, oh, here's a little hello card. Hello. It's me. Yep, these are a little cool. Let's just put that right there. Yep, so, ooh. Oh, that cover. Oh, that cover. Ah, oh, I feel, look, I love the color too. It's like blue, green, very subdued. And yeah, it's a sketchbook. The inside, I got a ruler on the side, that's nice. The back has their usual practical applications. Oh, but that cover. It's a durable cover. That'll take a beating. Oh, uh, thank you so much, Field Nuts, I love this. I am in, I'm in heaven right now, this, this is absolutely fantastic. And the piece de resistance, the best thing I have ever gotten. It's the space pen. It's the Fisher space pen. I have not ever owned a space pen and I've always wanted to own one of these. So space pens are pens that were designed originally to be used in space by astronauts. The barrel of the pen that holds the ink is uh, pressurized. So it can work when you're upside down or if the pen is upside down, the ink won't go anywhere because it's all pressurized. And oh God, it's awesome. All right, so I'm gonna carry this pen around always in this case. It's never leaving this case and not coming back. So here we go, here's the field notes, Fisher Space Pen, the little, ink, little paper include they got going on. Yep, introduced in 1967 and select use by astronauts. Uh, is specialized thixotropic ink in, in a sealed gas pressurized reservoir. Yep, basically what I said, just, you know, act more accurate. And here we go, look at it. Look at it, the packaging. Look at the packaging. It's like a meteorite hit it. It's great. Oh, it's awesome. I'm actually going to glue this down because I want to always carry this in its case. And here we go. The Fields Notes. The Fields Notes. The Field Notes. Fisher Space Pen. Looks like a bullet. Let's see if we can get it. There we go. FN19. I think this is actually fairly expensive on their website. I haven't looked into it yet, but I'm pretty sure it's expensive. So here we go. Yeah, look at that. So my current field notes is the expedition one, and the expedition field notes has a type of paper that is uh, non uh, waterproof. So it's it's not like normal paper, so it doesn't absorb ink like other books do. So I'm very curious to see if this ink will run as well, and it it doesn't. It's just a Samsung ballpoint pen I got, um, and I'll show you what I mean. I'm zooming a little bit. There we go. So as you can see, if I write with this one and I move my finger along it'll smear because the ink doesn't dry quick enough on the paper that it, it just kind of smears. So using a pen in, with these books is usually very difficult. Yep, look at that. Look at that. Okay, this is my new favorite pen. <laughs> that is it, guys. Not a, not a particularly long or interesting video to a lot of people, but to me, this is absolutely amazing. Um, Field Notes, thank you. Thank you so much for sending me this stuff. I really, really do appreciate it. Go check them out on their website. I'll put their website in the description. They didn't ask me to do this video. I don't even think they know I have a YouTube channel. Go check them out anyway if you like notebooks like I do. Um, I'm going to go and just geek out. I will see you guys later in more videos, but until then, hello.